Okay, this is a quick review of a device that I bought recently. It's a thermometer by Y-Things, and it's a Wi-Fi connected uh, thermometer. And it's basically one of those thermometers you just quickly go over your head, and then um, it gets your um, it gets your temperature, and you don't have to actually touch your head. It just goes from the middle of your head to the side of your head towards your ear, and it quickly takes your temperature. Now this. Apple was selling this for about $100, and it's made by Y-Things, which um, makes other Wi-Fi devices. For many years, I had a scale that is Wi-Fi connected, and I have a Y-Things account, and my family does, and the scale knows which member is on it, and uh, all the data from weighing us goes to each of our accounts. Um, and so I wanted to get it a thermometer because I, I had some flex spending money to use, by the end of the year and I like why things and it works well and a hundred dollars is a little expensive but the thing about this is it's Wi-Fi connected and actually it's um, it's connected by I think also Bluetooth to your Apple iPhone or other iOS device so here's the box here's the instruction and it's basically pretty simple and to set up and you basically you know connect it to your iPhone Bluetooth and, you know, within a few minutes, I was up and scanning. And the thing that's cool is, you know, you can actually, it's got like a touch interface. So once it connects to your Things account, I had four people on my account. It could, you could sort of take the temperature and then say which, uh, which account that you wanted the uh, data to go to. Now, it's a little cumbersome, that touch interface there where it says set up isn't exactly you know the most robust touch sensitive uh, interface but it works but um, one thing that I discovered is if you don't make it go to a particular account it goes to uh, a default setting and you can assign it later on so um, one of the things that I, I don't like about it is that instead of using uh, the the uh, just the generic sort of why things app that comes on iOS why things released it with its own um, app called Thermo. And basically, the data goes into this Thermo app. And if it's uh, not assigned to anybody in the Thermo app, you can assign it to someone. So overall, you know, I like it. And um, this is sort of what it uh, looks like when it's in the, uh, in the Thermo app. Now here I'm demonstrating on my daughter you just sort of wipe, swipe it across her head and you get the temperature. It's very easy to do. And in my case, shortly after I bought it, my son actually had a fever for a number of days. And it was very easy to, to take his temperature when he was sleeping. I would just go over and just sort of swipe it over his head and we would get the temperature. So um, overall, I kind of like the device. It's 100 bucks. Here's what the temperature looks like in the, in the uh, Y-Things Thermo app. And then it's got some other functions in there, like gives you advice if you have a fever, you know, when to, how to take action. Like I said, I'm kind of annoyed that it doesn't work with Y-Things Others apps. I looked into the Y-Things more generic app, and it wasn't in there. Now, I like this device so much that I was thinking of buying another one for one of my family members uh, out of town. And I went to the Apple store on Friday, and uh, I was asking around for it. It's always been stocked with Y things uh, devices like the scale, like the thermometer, like the blood pressure machine. And the people there were looking for it, and they came back from the back room and said, oh, no, they don't have it. And then what I realized is uh, there was a news story out that Apple has pulled all Y things devices from the Apple store because Y things is now owned by Nokia, and Apple and the Nokia are in a gigantic litigation now uh, regarding patents and intellectual property and I uh, know trust defenses by Apple but you still can get it I think Amazon sells it and I'll have a link below for it but uh, I was able to get it at Best Buy actually for a lot cheaper than $99 so this device is out there and I don't think Apple hasn't pulled any of the Y thing apps from the app stores just the devices and uh, I would recommend it. It's a little more expensive than a traditional uh, thermometer of this type. But I like the fact that it works with your Y Things account and you can assign it to different people 
the, the data. Uh, right now, I don't see the data in terms of the temperature migrating from the Thermo app to Apple's Health Kit, but I do think that uh, eventually, maybe why things will find a way to get it into Health Kit. So check it out. I think it's a pretty cool product.